Now, being an art appreciation teacher in UST for more than 10 years now, I can say that I have seen it all, and stating that it was a struggle is an understatement. Because my friends, in reality, learning and in turn teaching about art would have to be the easiest parts of it. It's like scratching the surface. And are you wondering what are the most difficult parts? Well, it would have to be number one, the convincing, and number two, the persuading. Convincing you that it is worth your time to study about art and persuading you that there is something in store for you in appreciating it. But you know what? Sometimes I can't help but wonder, is it? Is it there? Upon realizing that I have myself to be convinced and persuaded first, I decided to study about art in New York City, and so far, it was the best decision of my life. The Big Apple taught me countless things, but the best lesson I got was realizing that I know nothing and never will know everything. In every museum I visited and in every painting my eyes marveled upon, I always ended up discovering and experiencing something new and something more. I have seen Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night countless of times and still cry in front of it every single moment. I have crossed the Brooklyn Bridge almost every single day and yet I still gasp upon reaching the other side. I have watched a number of Puccini's operas and I still feel overwhelmed every curtain call. Every single time I experience art, it seems always new. And at the same time, it feels that I never got enough. New York, particularly the art that the city houses, made me realize why there is the word human in humanities. I came back to the Philippines thinking that I had solved the puzzle. But soon enough, reality started to bite. I am now convinced and persuaded that it is worth their time and there is something in store for them. But how am I supposed to make my students understand it if the first question of the semester is about the need for the humanities in their specific field of study? In my early years of being an art app teacher, I never failed to find connections between my lessons and my students' fields of study. It was very difficult. I always wondered how would I be able to relate the sculptures of Gian Lorenzo Bernini to anatomy, for example. Honestly, there were times when I feel that the connections I made seemed a little forced and unnatural. And during those times, I did not care less. Why, you may ask? because my fear of my subject being perceived as irrelevant overshadowed all things else. Up until I realized that no connection had to be made, because the aim of art appreciation is not only to make you better professionals in your own respective fields, but ultimately to make you the best human beings you can ever be. And because of this epiphany, I now have the best response to those of you who would ask me about the relevance of this subject to your field of study. And as an art app teacher, I just would like to emphasize that before you became students and before you become professionals, you are human beings first. And if that statement won't convince you, I am not sure what will. Being human is the guiding light of this course. That is why the discussions were written in a conversational tone. Every lesson attempts to be less condescending and more open to the ideas of students themselves, which prompts a dialogue between the course and the learners. In addition, the topics were introduced not as imperious definitions, but unlatched perspectives, which embrace free discourse and encourage further exploration. Ultimately, this course is not a guaranteed road to expertise in art, which according to Hansen and Hansen is open to anyone who wants it. But hopefully, 
this course makes you more open-minded and more capable in absorbing new experiences and route to understanding and in turn appreciating great and notable works of art. My dear students, I am excited to see you in our synchronous lessons. And once again, welcome to Art Appreciation Course.